hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to track whatsapp link click that means when someone visit your website through google ads and then click on this whatsapp icon or button how you can track it and how you can see this data in google ads overview so to track this first you have to create google tag manager account and i believe you can easily create google tag manager account and then you need to connect this tag manager account with your website and if you don't know how to create google tag manager account and how to connect google tag manager account with your website then please check my video description i will put there my previous video link so that you can easily create one for you okay now i assume you have already a google tag manager account and it's already connected with your website for this video i'm going to use this website this is the demo purpose website so assume it's your real website okay so now uh, tag manager is ready and tag manager is already connected with your website now what you need to do first let's create conversion in google ads so first you have to go your google ads account then uh, hover on goals and then select summary now if we scroll down here you can see create conversion action you have to first click on here and then scroll down here you can see uh, my screen show like this but for you you have to first click edit and here you have to paste your website url then click on scan after that just select google tag then click done okay now scroll down select save and continue and here click on see all we are going to track whatsapp uh, click whatsapp button click so uh, let's see which uh, conversion we can select here uh, let's select uh, contact because uh, it's showing uh, like when a customer contact you business by so let's select this one and select i mean click at conversion action select google tag and here you have to select setup manually using code select conversion settings wait a little bit here and let's write here your conversion name i like to write here whatsapp click also i add here gtm that means i can see this conversion and i can remember this i set up this conversion through google tag manager that's why i write here shortly gtm okay so scroll down and select here value as a like use same value for each conversion also if you want you can select this one don't use value for this conversion action but it's not recommended so select this one and scroll down you have to select here one okay because it's a like uh, lead type conversion okay so scroll on again and select done almost we are done again click save and continue perfect now we have to select use google tag manager and scroll down here you can see we can see easily conversion id and here our conversion level now uh, let's going to show now i'm going to show you how you can set up this conversion through google tag manager so first go google tag manager and go preview and here you have to put your website url then click on connect now we can see our tag assistant is connected with our website to verify this we can go tag assistant here yeah we can see here is already is, uh, window is loaded so that means tag assistant is properly connected with our website now if i click on our uh, whatsapp button like here uh, so as you can see here is the like one two three four five right now if i click on this whatsapp button and if i again go tag assistant we can see here is the uh, six right so if you click link click and select variables here you can see some more details like click url https w a dot me now what you need to do here you can see click url you have to just copy this text like this if you want you can take copy full text or if you want you can copy like this so i'm going to copy this and you need to go tag manager again select triggers because we need to create one trigger when someone uh, click this whatsapp button we need to fire our tag that's why we need to first create trigger and click on new select trigger configuration here you have to select just links then select some link clicks and here you have to select click url so i like to write here url no not like yeah and select click url and paste here or copy text that we copy from here yes so click url contain this url then our tag should fire now you need to write your trigger name so i'm going to write here whatsapp click so this is our whatsapp click trigger and then just save this trigger 
okay so our ticker creation is done now we need to go tag section and click new tag tag configuration and here you have to select first google ads then select google ads conversion tracking and here you can see you have to put here your conversion id that you can find easily from your google ads account this is your conversion id just copy this and again come back here just paste here your conversion id now you might see no google tag found in this container to fix this issue you have to just create uh, click create tag and then select triggering all pages also if you want you can keep this one but yeah if, if you want you can select this one also if you want you can select this one okay so i like to prefer this okay and just save now you can see this will be fixed yeah this is fixed and now you need to see like you can see your conversion level you have to again go to your google ads account and copy this level so again come back here just paste here your conversion level yeah perfect now you can see also you have to put your uh, conversion value transition id currency code actually this is for e-commerce so you can just ignore here for whatsapp click tracking and scroll down select triggering can you think which trigger you should select here yeah you're right you have to select this one whatsapp click and yeah your tag almost ready now you need to write your tag name like i need to write here g ads that means google ads and i need to write here whatsapp click whatsapp click okay perfect now just click on save yeah you can see our tag creation is done now we need to create another one tag that is necessary for google ads conversion tracking that one is conversion linker you can see conversion linker you have to create this tag also for google ads conversion tracking and you can just select all pages okay so yeah it's done now what we need to do we need to just uh, publish this container so i'm going to publish this and let's test it it's working properly or not to check this it's working or not i need to go preview mode again so first let's remove this one and also this one also this and let's go tag uh, google ads account click on finish now we can see our this one contact uh, like whatsapp click gtm inactive now let's go again preview mode and just check it our tracking properly working or not so again we have to go preview and you know you have to paste here your website url and yes uh, it's already connected maybe yeah it's connected we can see it's connected now here you can see tag fire our uh, google tag is always fire for all pages and also conversion linker but didn't fire our uh, whatsapp click right because we didn't click on here uh, whatsapp button right yeah so now if i click on this button this tag should fire let's test it yeah i just click this and if i go here see our tag is fire on this event yes and it's properly working if you go somewhere you can see your all tag is fire now if i go google tag and i mean google ads and refresh this space we should see tag is active so let's wait a little bit here scroll down and see contact and if i yes whatsapp click no recent conversion that means this conversion ready to track your whatsapp click link okay so i hope this video is helpful for you if you think this video is helpful for you don't forget to like comment and share with your friends thank you